Hey, you guys. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in India. If you're new to the channel, this is April. And I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday, so hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. First, we need to take off the shoes there. Okay. For going in, they charge 300 rupees okay. per person. Okay. Okay, and you are using the shorts, so they so will give you the cover. Covered. And for each cover, they charge you the 50 rupees. Okay. okay. And for the shoekeeper, we have to give him the tip when we come back. Okay. We're here at the Jama Mosque. It's the largest mosque in India. This is the Jama Masjid. This was also built by the same person who built the Taj Mahal in Agra. His name was the Saha Jahan. This was started in 1650 and completed in 1656. And the 6,000 laborers built this huge mosque along with so many animals like elephants, horses and camel. This is the largest mosque where the 24,000 people can pray together in one time. Under the three domes, this whole ground, under the red section and top of the red section. You know the Ramadan? Mm -hmm. Muslim people keep 30 days fast, which is known as Ramadan. During the Ramadan, more than 100,000 people pray together. 24,000 up to inside the mosque and the rest pray outside because it has three entrance doors. One for north, one for south, one for east. So they just cover all the gallery, steps and roads. The central dome height is the 31 meter and the midnight height is the 42 meter. The concept was so clear. The royal people used to go in the center dome. Their royal guests used to enter in a, another two dooms, while the local people used to come in this ground only at the time of Mughal period. So many times you read on internet that it says that the Chani Chok, which is, uh, you know, the moonlight square, if we translate in English, it is hardly 400 years old, but uh, it is not. The Bajar is more than 1,000 years old, but the name of the of the Bajar which was kept by the Mughals uh, that's almost 400 years old. Now I am going to tell you how the Chandi Chok name was founded. So when the Mughals built this building like Red Fort as well as Chama Masjid, right? So they had no electricity sir. After the Ramadan they looked full moon in the sky and then they announced the Muslim festival Eid, right? Sure. And imagine this is the midnight, the moon is there. Okay. And there is a water Sure. And the mosque is built by the two types of stone, the red and the white like this. Okay. White is a marble, mm -hmm. always shine. Red sandstone is a darker, never shine. So the moonlight used to come on a water. The square font used to put reflection on the mosque. And oh, the white marble so used to get shine. Nice. Right. So the chani is moonlight and the square font used to reflect like a squares. So Chani Chowk name was founded like that. Oh, Moonlight Square. Yeah. <laughs> That's neat. If there is less pollution and the moon the is full, brightening, yeah. then, it, you, then you can see. Sure, even, probably even, on a cold day or... Yeah. yeah. Even, even not only this, yeah, a lot of people visit the Taj Mahal also in the same way. Only this water font you will see when you are going to the Mughal made mosque. If you are going to the regular mosque, you never see this kind of font. You always see the taps. So before the prayer, the Muslim people can wash their feet, hands and mouth. Okay? So a lot of people are doing this here also, but this was not for this thing. Okay. This was, the purpose was completely different for making the font. So the Muslim people are not required to particular any building or anything. They just have to face the Mecca. So from your country, it is east, but from India, because we are opposite side of the Mecca, so it is the west. So this is the west direction. So they just have to face the west direction, meaning they are facing the Mecca and they pray. So if the people are not in, in this section, doesn't matter. They just have to face the Mecca. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, Hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living, living life.